Hi, this is Sarah Worsham from Sazbean. Uh, me and Sandy decided to do a video today about how to use the flip video camera to get a video from here onto your computer and then onto your website. Um, so these flip videos are pretty cool. You can get them, depends, somewhere between 100 and 200 depending on how much storage space you want and how many hours of video you want. But they're really cool because just take the video from here, plug it into your computer, use their software, and get it up on your website. Okay. So Sarah and I are doing this how-to video today. I wanted to show you a couple different things. The first thing is that it's really quick and easy for you to change scenery behind you when you're using the flip, phone, or the flip video camera. Because all you do is press the bright red button that's on the back of the flip to record, you press it again to stop it, and then you can pick up again at any location. The software that comes pre-installed on the flip camera will allow you to create the movies and put all the clips together pretty seamlessly and easily. So it's really not that hard to put a video on your website. So when you're recording video, you're going to want to take a look around and see what's behind you, what kind of noise there is, and what kind of lighting is in the picture. Because as you can see, I'm probably, you can see more behind me than you can see my face. And also you're going to want to make sure that there's not any strange noises that are going to get picked up or people walking into your shot unexpectedly. When you're shooting a video, it's also good to get the permission of the people who are going to show up in your video. If you're at a public event, this is something you might want to watch for. If you're at the Insights Group, for example, everybody pretty much knows that they'll be on the spot at some point, so I just sat down and decided that we'd add Betsy and John to our video today. So I'm so glad that I've got their participation. So another option when you're videotaping yourself is to kind of just walk around like this, but you're going to have to be careful that you try to keep the camera on one object instead of doing shaky cam like this, which just makes people sick. <laughs> when you're setting the environment up for your video, props are good. Make sure that you're having a conversation with people, that you're not talking at them. The place and location that you shoot the video is not as important than the people in the video, but still good considerations to take into account. Oh, the other thing that you'll want to do too, make sure that your cell phone and all electronic devices are off, because if you had a really good take, you'd hate to have it interrupted by the ringing of the phone. So, word to the wise, turn off your phone. The other thing that you want to pay attention to when you're videotaping is if there are any mirrors or places where your reflection is going to show up because it's always fun to see that in the video later. So once you're done with your video and you have it on your flip, to get it onto your computer, all you have to do is, there's a little button here, USB connection, you have to turn your flip on. Oh, that's right, this one goes this way connect it to the computer and then it brings up your nice flip software and you'll be able to see all the videos that are on the camera. So once your video is on your computer you can double click it and you can do some editing right in the flip share. By clicking this little scissors in the bottom of the video it'll allow you to trim from the beginning and the end any unwanted portions of the video. And then when you click save it'll do all the processing for you. So now that you're done editing your video and it looks completely perfect, you can send it to YouTube right from Flipshare. You're going to go down here to the bottom of the window where there's this world with a little arrow on it, it says online underneath it. You're going to click that and then you're going to go over here and select YouTube. Click next. Then put in your username and password and click login and then it'll automatically upload your video to YouTube for you. So once you've put your video on YouTube, the next step is for you to tell YouTube to send it somewhere. You can log into your YouTube account and post it directly to Facebook or you can get the embed code so that you can put it into your blog. Let's look at how you can do that. So now that your video is uploaded to YouTube, you can actually go to YouTube and if you click on the My Videos tab, it will bring up a list of your most recently uploaded videos. And then if you click on the video itself, it's going to open the video and it'll start playing so you probably want to put your uh, mouse over the pause. 
And then if you want to embed the video into a website, over here where it says embed, you can copy and paste this big long HTML and it'll let you select the size and the colors and all sorts of things. And you copy and paste that right into your website or your blog and then your YouTube video will show up there. Another option is that you can send your video to My MySpace or Facebook and if you click on more there's Twitter and Dig and all sorts of things. So right from YouTube you'd be able to share your video to a bunch of different social networks.